Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I've gone to face the sun. It is finally feeling like spring. It is a beautiful morning. It's a good Friday today. Now, I don't have a particular strong Christian faith myself, but my mother does. And so I thought it'd be nice to do something with her today, as it's a special day in the Christian calendar. So we are going to decorate Easter bonnets together and go to a... My brain's gone dead. <laughs> go to a Good Friday afternoon tea. So that's what we've got planned for today. I'm currently out with the dogs. There's Buddy. The other two are in front. I've now got to get down this ditch without falling in. But I wanted to also show you my beautiful new jewellery from Anna Luisa. I am overjoyed to have been asked to work on several campaigns with Anna Luisa this year. So buckle up because you're going to see some really nice things. I love working with Anna Luisa because they craft really high quality jewellery at really affordable prices and they're carbon neutral. All of this packaging, all of the products, they're all designed to create the least possible impact upon the planet. I think that's fantastic and I love this carbon neutral packaging. My first piece are these beautiful pull through threader aviary earrings. I love threader earrings, I find them really, really comfortable to wear and I can sleep in them without finding that the backs push into my head. Here's how they look on the Anna Luisa website and I've also pulled up a picture of how they look on the Anna Luisa model who is beautiful and glamorous and shows them off to a far better advantage than I ever could. They are lab grown diamonds encased in gold plated sterling silver and they're just stunning, so delicate and elegant. Next up this is the Carter diamond black bracelet. This is right up my alley. I love this, it's such a simple yet statement piece. It is a black plaited cord bracelet and then we've got a lab grown diamond again set in sterling silver which has been coated in 14 karat gold. This beautiful piece is fully adjustable and will suit either a large or a small wristed person. Here are the shots from the Anna Luisa website as you can see it's a beautiful delicate piece of jewellery. Here it is on the Anna Luisa model what a lovely slender wrist she's got and then here it is on me. Not quite such a slender wrist but it's still a lovely fit and very comfortable to wear and I love the way it looks. My third and final piece are another pair of earrings. These are called Chiara. These are made from recycled silver plated in 14 karat gold and with cubic zirconia diamante trim. So you've got triple chains with cubic zirconia at the base of each graduated length chain and then cubic zirconias on the hoops which are a hinged hoop so the piercing bar goes through your ear and then the hinge comes up and clips around behind to keep them securely in place. They're beautiful, they're so pretty, the sparkles catch the light and you can also, as you can see here, layer them with the other earrings. So I've got two pierced holes in each ear and I'm wearing both pairs together. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for gifting me these beautiful items to show you. You can check out Anna Luisa using the link in my description box and if you use code Jenkins20 at checkout you'll save 20% on your orders. Now let's get on with today's video. Hello! So, <laughs> today we oh, are... Gonna be... <laughs> your label off. My mother's going to cut my label off. Say hello to the camera, Mum. Hello, camera! <laughs> We're going to decorate our Easter bonnets because we're going to an afternoon tea this afternoon. It's Good Friday, we're going to an afternoon tea. So I thought I'd film us doing our crafting. Are you feeling confident about your crafting, Mum? No. She was alright until I said she had to win a prize for a bonnet and then it went, yeah, oh dear. But um, she's chosen the pink and white and then was very worried that I wouldn't get any ribbon. But I just remembered I've got a whole reel of ribbon. You've got some ribbon. So we've got, we've got ribbon, we've got eggs. We've got bunnies and chicks and flowers and, yeah, and I'm going to look and have yours, some. Yeah, but yours is big enough. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it too big? <laughs> My mother's got a big head. So we're going to decorate our bonnets. I'm going to let you watch us decorate our bonnets. My mother's just going to cough along up. And uh, we'll show you the finished result before we go off. All right? We'll show you our bonnets before we go off for our afternoon tea.
the birds make you look so easy? Well, there you are. <laughs> you know, the more I look at what the birds do, the more I think how clever they are to be able to build a home out of the little twigs. You can have a nest if you want a nest. There's enough equipment for us to raise them, whatever. I should warn you, making a nest not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Right, I've got a ribbon on my hat and I've got eggs in a nest on the top and it has so far passed the tipping it upside down test, nothing's fallen off. Mother's counted all the components and decided how many of each were allowed <laughs> in the interest of fair play. And I think we're adding a butterfly, haven't we? Have you put the wire through on that one, does it, yeah, or does it need gone, glue? It's gone through. So you don't need I glue? I don't quite know what to do with the other, the rest of it. Perhaps you need to pull the wire back through again. Another, another one. This is where I get the tongue out when you're concentrating thing from, by the way. <laughs> I do it now. I catch myself doing it. I'm like, yeah, I'm turning into my mother. Does. I bet Natalie does it. Yeah. I've got a couple of little bunnies that might be going on there. I've got loads of flowers. There's some chicks here as well. Did you see the chicks? Oh, I didn't see the chicks. Yeah. Well, I've got the glue gun if you want me to glue him on for you. Okay, so I'll put glue on his, on his bit of cardboard here. Right, that glue's really hot. Yeah, that's good. That and she's got a rather odd face. Yeah, it looks more like a teddy bear than a chick, <laughs> doesn't it? Well, it's not a chick, it's a lamb. I don't can't tell the difference between lambs and chicks. I could have sworn I had chicks somewhere. What do I do with those? Maybe I didn't get chicks. Mm -hmm. We've only got bunnies and lambs. Right, do you want? I want the other bunny on. Right. This side of the butter. I'll do that in a minute. So I think you need to pull the wire of the butterflies back through. I've got to twist it on the inside. Down there. I'm going to be adjusted. Yeah. Where do you want him? Just there. He's not adjust. He's not going to be adjusted. No, he'll be. Once he's there, he's there. I mean, you can pull him off, but. Yeah, but once he's in, he's in, really. Yeah. You can pull them back off and move them if you need to. But these can be adjusted. And you can have more bunnies if you want. You can go bunnies and butterflies all the way around if you want. It's entirely up to you. Did I only buy two colours of flowers? I thought I bought more than two. Have you been squirreling this stuff away from me? No. <laughs> Maybe I only bought two. No, let's, let's put this on and see what it look, looks like so far. What do you think of that so far? I think I've never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> it looks it looks lovely. Do you want more on it? Is the question, or are no, you, are well, you happy I, with I, it? I suppose the question. Are you I'm asking. minimalist or maximalist? <laughs> is it uh, is it sort of reasonably level, or does it need? Yeah, to? I think so. Are we going with symmetrical? Is this where we're yeah, in here for? I suppose I'm quite symmetrical. Yeah. Oh, you can have it. You can have them if you want them. Oh, could I? Yeah. Mm. I wonder if that's what I do want to do then. Who's a famous designer of hats? Well, whoever he is, he should be shaking. He should be quaking in his in his shoes because watch out, famous designer of hats. There's a new face on in town. <laughs> Philip somebody, Philip Tracy, I think, or Tracy, is that his name? He designs hats. That's he. Yeah, didn't he design those weird ones that um, Beatrice and Eugenie wore for the wedding? Oh, well, they were weird. I can't oh, remember whose wedding it was. One of them, Diana. I can't remember whose wedding it wasn't it Diana's. Wasn't they weren't there for that. I wouldn't be either. Um, like the Charles's. Or well, it might have been. It, maybe it was the. It was William and William and Kate, wasn't it? When Pippa was there with her, with her bum wiggling around. 
I've made such a mess already. My mum's out is a shambles. There's straw everywhere for starters. <laughs> ow! Ow! I've stuck myself to my hat. Ow! <laughs> ow! Hot glue is dangerous. Don't try this at home, children. I think my nest could have some more eggs in it, maybe. Yeah. Should I see the state of the glue gun? People on camera, you can't see the glue gun, but it is absolutely covered in glue. <laughs> are you getting anything else on yours, or are you? Yeah, I'm just resting. Ay, yeah, yeah, I'm stuck to me out again. <laughs> my creation so far. Now, Mother is obviously much more symmetrically minded. You like yours to be. Oh, I'm very even, yeah. Very even. <laughs> Whereas I'm odd. <laughs> I'm more of the scattergun approach to crafting, apparently. <laughs> you want to try it on? And you raised the bonnet with all the flowers upon it. I haven't got many flowers on mine, have I? Do you want some flowers? Yes, okay. We'll flower you up. We'll flower her up. Yes, okay. What do you think? Good. Is it? Is it enough of an enoughness? Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> that's fine, that's I think that's, I think that's... I've got, yeah, I've got four rabbits on, on the two stupid. butterflies. And if we should add butterflies. How many butterflies have you got on? I've got one, but that's enough. I don't know. You didn't go for an elegant sufficiency of butterflies is what I've gone for. I think I'm happy with mine. I think mine's done. I will model it for the edification of the viewing audience. Probably doesn't fit my head because I've got a massive swede. I thought yours looked as if it fitted you. <laughs> I don't think it does. It's perched, mine, it's perched on top like a pig on drum. I think they're designed for children is the problem. And you and I are... Of, of, of adult stature. Bloody old. What do you think? If you saw me out for a walk in my best Easter tip for, would you stop and say hello? Or would you? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry by on the other Hurry side. Hurry by on the other side of the road, yeah. Right. <laughs> 20 minutes of my mother trying to get herself away from bits of glue. And Kate is modelling the latest from the Paris runway. We've got a, a pink and white straw chapeau, liberally decorated <laughs> with, um, with white and yellow flowers and, and bunny rabbits. And butterflies. How does this hat make you feel? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to wear it in public in a bit, so you know. <laughs> well, we've achieved... Here we are. Something. We've achieved something. Can I put mine back on? We've also found a tammy look in the hair process. Wait till you see her Easter bonnet, she's very northern. <laughs> <laughs> I am very northern. Is that how they make an Easter bonnet up north, is it? That's how Tammy makes one. So in Yorkshire they do Easter bonnets a little bit differently. Uh, Tammy's is a classic Yorkshire Easter bonnet. If you're, if you're a viewer from Yorkshire, do let us know in the comments if your Easter yeah, bonnet looks yeah. like this. Well, it's a traditional Yorkshire bonnet, so it's a flat cap with a Yorkshire pudding for a nest and a pigeon. <laughs> this is how we do it in Yorkshire. We have flat caps, Yorkshire puddings and pigeons. Can you say e-bagum? E-bagum. Can you say baby? Baby. <laughs> Just for context, well Tammy and I were outside Tesco one night and she said something to me and, and a random stranger said, oh, are you from Yorkshire? And she said, yeah. she said, she said, oh, say baby for me. I love it when Yorkshire people say baby. <laughs> so that's become a running so joke. <laughs> Hi, 
Tell go on there, I've got a picture, a picture for you. What, hand, what do you want me to tell them that we ought to? Tell them that you won. Oh, I've won. Right, I won the, the Turn Easter. Turn it round. <laughs> <laughs> She won the Easter bonnet competition and um, no. she doesn't like chocolate, do you, Mum? No. Liar. I won't be able to eat it. I'll have to give you it You do, I'm sure you'll manage. You've managed to eat all the chocolate that's come, come your way at any other time. Week. Well, we've had our afternoon tea. We've popped in and done my mother's shopping. My mother's had a doze. She says she hasn't, but she was definitely asleep when we came back to the car. Rest in my eyes. Rest in her eyes. Um, we've given my mother's Easter bonnet to a lady at the club who Call fell in love Karen. with it and fell in love with it called Karen who fell in love with it so she's delighted so into into somebody's life we have brought some light today we have brought some shining happiness but that's what I heard you say yeah, yeah. contracts and sparkles and now we're taking mum home so would you like to say goodbye to the vlog mum and happy Easter although it won't be Easter by the time they bye see bye. it bye bye happy Easter everybody Tam any, any words of wisdom bye <laughs> bye Remember, you can find the links to Anna Louisa in the description box below and my code Jenkins20 saves you 20% off at checkout. Take care. See you soon.